CBS World News, Bob Trout speaking. And again, we bring you the available reports, all of them from German sources, on what the Berlin radio calls the invasion. There is still no Allied confirmation from any source. Correspondents who rushed to the War Department in Washington soon after the first German broadcast was heard were told that our War Department had no information on the German report. There's been no announcement of any sort from Allied headquarters in London. The first news of the German... Well, hello, YouTubers. Different video today, if you let us. We did the Sean thing this morning for the trucks. We rebuilt the distributor. We didn't shoot any video of it, but I have something different. I'm at my house in the comfort of my living room, and I've got an open box review for you today. Yes, this is a general World War II reenacting thing. I bought a reproduction, non-firing, okay, M3 grease gun. That's right, I bought a grease gun. Uh, a company called Sarco in Pennsylvania. They're sarcoinc.com. By the way, not sponsored. I paid for this myself, so this isn't sponsored. But this is going to be an open box. I just got it today. We're going to open the box together. We're going to see what it looks like, and I'm going to tell you what I think of the Sarco Reproduction M3. Um, it was 165 bucks. Um, so we're going to take a look at it and see. Um, you're going to see my dog running around. She's probably going to help. Um, and uh, don't mind the house. Because <laughs> kind of crazy. So, okay. But we're going to open a box. Get ready. Okay, so here it is. The box. I hope this works out because... Yes, I remembered my tripod and we're trying this. Knife. And we'll take out the little packing slip here. Maybe. So I have a better knife. And this should be just saying what they sent me. And Grease Gun Replica. Oh, in case you want to order this. Part number is REP 43, Romeo Echo Papa 43. And it kind of says it also comes with a sling, uh, nylon, and a grease gun case, World War II United States Marine Corps. So, and uh, I'll put a link to Sarco down in the description. But yeah, there it is. So, we'll set that aside and we'll open the box once I figure out how to open the box. I'll leave you open the box. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. Ta-da! Just a plethora of anticipation. And inside a whoa! Okay, bunch of packing peanuts. Oh. YouTube, dog, dog, YouTube. Bell. That's Bell. No, we'll leave that one. She has to help with everything. Say hi, Bill. Say hi, puppy. Alright. So, loads of packing peanuts. There's... Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a mess. There's not going to be a good way around this. Oh, I see the silhouette. I see a silhouette of a gun. Oh, God. Oh. Is gonna come at this. Well, I quit it. Oh crap! All right. Let me readjust and empty out the peanuts. We'll be right back. Okay. So I got all the packing peanuts out of the way. It's kind of a mess, but I've got it down to the big box. They gave you. It said nylon sling, but they it, they gave you a leather one. So, nice touch. It's a nice upgrade. And they gave you, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a OD canvas cover. And it says right on it, cover. Well, it's kind of hard to do. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, nice cover. Uh, cover, caliber 45, sub MG M3. And then it's got a number on it, D90196, in case you couldn't read that. But yeah, okay, fine. So, bonus there. Okay. So now we'll get to the heart of the matter, 
which is the gun itself. We'll open this box. And we'll see what's inside. Ooh. So I see a box. This is Denix. Made in Spain. Collection collecting history since 1967. Doesn't say what it is, but we'll find that out. What else is down here? So we have a Denix catalog. So I'm assuming this. Sarko got this from Denix in Spain. We'll set that aside. And, ooh, it's metal. Uh-oh. Mommy, it's stuck. Why is it stuck? There it is. Oh, this is a heavy little bugger. Okay, so we'll pick the box out, put the box away. And yeah, so all metal. Oh, that went to both. It's definitely the M3 style because it's got the charging handle, so it's not the A2. Trigger works. Yep, it says Phoenix on it, so it's got the little red thing on it. We'll try to take that out for realistically speaking sake. Uh, does a barrel unscrew like a real one? This is all metal. This thing's heavy. Uh, so far, I'm mildly impressed. Supposedly, this is like the real deal. So we're going to... Well, evidently, that doesn't come off. It acts like it comes off, but evidently it doesn't. Okay, so the barrel doesn't come off, or does it? Well, the barrel doesn't come off. Okay, well, that's not a that's not a deal breaker. So what's in this box? Probably the clip and the handle. In this one magazine. And as expected, one stop, such as they are. Stub that in there. Stub this in here. We'll stub this in here. Put it up back in the box. Got a little Denix tag on it. We'll slice that off. So, charging handle should go in. Back here, just like a real M3, just like that, and we should be able to pull on the little tab, I'll push on it actually, and there it is, it locks in, and if we push on it, it collapses, it locks, there you go, mildly impressed so far. One magazine, charging, there it is. Well, nifty. Yeah, I'd have to say for 165 bucks, I'm rather impressed. Uh, so the bolt face appears to be metal, no hole for a firing pin, no extractor, so you can't put any rounds in this thing. So my assumption is if you loaded this up with dummy rounds, I highly doubt that it would you could feed one, but I doubt it would extract it because it doesn't appear to be an extractor on the bolt face. So, but for display purposes, the bolt does move forward. 
Both charge. Protection cover goes down. Yeah, feels like a real grease gun. I've, I've played with a real grease gun once before. It's absolutely all metal. It's got the weight, it's got the function. Yeah. For $165, um, total ship to my house was 200. It was 200 and like 12 cents. Um, but yeah, let me give you a little close up of it here. Although the lighting in here is terrible, so. But uh, yeah, so far I'm mildly impressed. So let me, uh, let me get you off the tripod there and I'll zoom you down here and we'll get you a closer look. Okay, so there's a overall view of it laying on the table. And we'll get you down in on it here. So you can see the stamping on it. This will be Michigan caliber 45 M3. Made in Spain. That seems to be the only markings on it. All metal, all screws. That's the mag eject. We'll take it and flip her over. The other side. We'll get a look at it from this side. We got the charging handle, the cover. So yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm impressed. So if we bring the bolt back. It's inside. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the bolt face. But it doesn't look like there's an extractor. Nothing on the face of it for a pin. Just looks like they used a solid, solid piece. So... But the mag, well, or the mag goes right up into where it's supposed to go. Oh, and they got a they got a plate over the barrel, so no, it will not chamber around. They put like a washer or something, got a wet washer or something welded into there. I don't know how well you can see it, but yeah, they got a washer or something welded in there, so you can't put anything in the barrel. So it's strictly a display gun, but. It's a pull the trigger, the bolt goes forward. So, yeah. So, there you go. So, there it is. One M3 grease gun reproduction straight from Sarco. Uh, I'm rather impressed with it. I'd say at $165, that's a, that's a pretty good buy. Uh, so if you're interested in one, like I said, I'll drop a link down in the description to, uh, Sarco, uh, in case you're interested in it, it was $165, 200 to my door. Um, your, your shipping price may vary. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm impressed. Uh, heavy, seems sturdy construction. <laughs> Never heard of Denix before, but that appears to be who made it. Um. Uh, yeah, Denix, Spanish company. Uh, yeah, simple enough to get it from Sarco. Sarco's in eastern Pennsylvania, so here in the states, it'll it'll fly. Comes with the 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 leather sling, which I'll put on later, and the U.S. Marine Corps canvas OD carrying pouch. So yeah. Um, I'm impressed. So nice short video. Um, any questions? Uh, send me an email or post it down in the comments. Um, once again, thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, share this video if you thought it was informative and interesting. Uh, depending on what happens next week, look for another truck video. Um, the weather's starting to warm up, so I'll be playing with radios so look for videos coming out with uh world war ii radios and i just bought some motorola desk tracks 
uh, which I'm going to get cleaned up and programmed, and maybe I'll put that in too. You never know. So, um, like I said, uh, subscribe and uh, see my other playlists somewhere. I never can figure out which way is which. And then like, subscribe, and share. And uh, we'll catch you next time, YouTube. Have a great weekend.